How goes it all? Welcome back to Patterson Hill Properties. Hopefully you guys have a great and exceptional day. Well, you know, we all knew within the real estate world that home prices were going to take a significant dip throughout the United States of America. With homes being very, very overpriced, gas prices at an all-time high, layoffs as well of, you know, for well-paying jobs in corporate America, i.e. Netflix, Tesla, you know, it's interesting times that we're living in. Interesting yet crazy time to be alive, you know? And according to the article that I read today, home buying demand pulled back further as mortgage rates reached their highest level in over 13 years. Home tours, offers, and other requests for agents helped as measures by the Redfin Home Buyer Demand Index posted their largest annual decline in over two years. Sellers are not holding out. The weekly share of listings with a price drop reached a new high during the four weeks ending in June 19th, which was not that long ago because today is the 28th. Um, remember that during the summertime is, you know, supposed to be the time when home sales should be at an all time high, but now this isn't the case because of obvious various reasons that I'm going to continuously go over. You know what I mean? It's, it's very interesting when you think about all this, when it comes to the real estate market and everybody's predicting 2023 to be the year where, you know, we might see some sort of 2023 or 2024 might see some sort of stabilization because of, you know, the interest rates going up, but we shall see. I'm not going to, you know, predict something that's not, you know, a guaranteed fact or anything of that nature. You know what I mean? But anyways, the article stated that home sellers are aware of this as well. A record share are dropping their asking price, even though there are fewer home sales prices have not declined any significant amount yet. But if the housing market continues to cool, prices fall, um, could fall in 2023, as I said earlier. And for me, 2023 definitely could be the year that I plan to buy more real estate um, outside of what I'm doing right now. Because so right now I'm just sticking to the tax tax sales and whatnot. But um, but you know we'll see what happens because right now everything's just ridiculous regardless of what part of the country you live in. The article also stated that many home sellers have stru um, stuck it in, in their heads that homes are selling a certain amount above asking or that they can underprice their homes to try to generate a bidding war. But that strategy isn't working anymore, which was stated by uh, Bob Redfin, said by Boston Redfin real estate agent, Robin uh, Spengenberg. High mortgage rates have kicked that a lot of buyers right out of the market. This means sellers need to price their home at whatever they are okay walking away with because they might only get one or two offers now. So unless you're in the market like New York or Los Angeles where demand is so high because they've all they've had a housing shortage for such a long time, one may want to look into decreasing the sales price family. I mean, heck, I remember my um before the pandemic, a family member of mine who lives in New York City was having a very, very hard time trying to find a place, you know, for various reasons I'm not gonna go into. And it had nothing to do with his credit. But um, anyways, I will say that because of the pandemic. <laughs> um, it, stay, it helped, in a sense, stabilize places like New York and Los Angeles because they had such a massive um, decrease in population due to lockdowns and due to ta high taxes and due to overpriced um, properties and overpriced everything and due to high crime rates. So you had a big decrease in population of people not only going to the South or the Midwest, but people going to other foreign countries all at the same time. I'm going to be making a video, I believe it was last week, talking about the increase um, of Americans moving to Mexico and whatnot, and various other foreign countries, not just because of the pandemic, but because of cost of living. And I've already made my prediction that that's probably going to increase more so because the American dollar holds way more weight in, um, quote unquote, third world countries than it does anywhere else in the world. So it is what it is. But anyways, I digress. The article ended on this note for the week ending in uh, June 23rd. 30-year mortgage rates rose to 5.81%, the highest level since November 2008. Fewer people searched for homes for sale on Google. Searches during the week ending June 18th were down 14% from a year earlier. The seasonally adjusted Redfin Home Buyer Demand Index, a measure of requests for home tours and other home buying services. The Redfin agents was down 16% uh, year over year during this week ending June 19th. This was the largest decline since April 2020, because obviously that was when things started to shut down. Touring activity as of June 19th was 6% below the start of the year compared to a 24% increase at the time last year, according to home tour technology company Showing Time. 
Mortgage purchase applications were down 10% from a year earlier, while a seasonally adjusted index was up 8% week over week during the week ending in June 17th. So, you know, things are down tonight. Like it's not, because you know, from going down from a catastrophic rate or anything of that nature, but it's going down at a rate. And I can see that rate growing with interest rates being where it's at and with the economy being where it's at. So that's just something to take away from. And all those things that I was mentioning, article says that, hey, the key housing market takeaways for 400 plus US metro areas. Unless otherwise noted that the data in this report covers the four week period ending June 19th. Redfin's housing market data goes back to 2012, man. Emily, that was 10 years ago. Data based on homes listed and or sold during the period. All right, the medium home sales price was up 14% year over year to a record of $300,000 um, The medium asking price of newly listed homes increased 16% year over year to $405,000. The monthly mortgage payments on the medium asking home asking price home increased to $2,500 at the current 5.81% mortgage rate. This was up 48% from $1,693 um, a year. I mean, a year earlier when mortgage rates were 3.02%. Pending home sales were down 10% year over year, the largest decline since May, 2020. New listings of homes for sales were down 2% from year a year earlier, act, active listings, the number of homes listed at, for sale at any point during the period fell 5% year over year, the smallest decline since December um, 2019. 40 percent of homes that went under contract had an accepted offer within the first two weeks on the market, down from 50% a year earlier, 34%. And even before I go forward, remember there was a time um, at the end of last year, and obviously most of this year, um, I'm sorry, most of last year in 2021 and the beginning of 2022, where you had, you know, it was a sell, you know, a seller's market where all of these people were getting so much money for their homes, it was ridiculous. But then when they tried to find another place to live, it was ridiculous for them all at the same time. I know a friend of mine who had a very um hard time dealing with that all at the same time. But another thing to take into consideration is it's like, you know, people were making offers sight unseen. That's the thing to remember. I think that's kind of the way things now it's kind of going to hopefully stabilize that nonsense because um, we've had, court, you know, you got major corporations that are soaking up whole neighborhoods, entire neighborhoods and whatnot. They've gotten into the housing market to where all the new developments and whatnot are going to be owned by a corporation and they're not building it to sell, they're building these homes to rent. So it's going to be normal to see single family home neighborhoods and all the houses there are for rent, they're not for sale. Okay, that's the market win right now. And that's why a lot of people that can't afford to buy another house are actually doing the um, buying real estate within the stock market and whatnot. So from the Tulsa Real Estate, uh, the Tulsa Real Estate Fund to, um, you know, Fundrise, those kind of different funds. And obviously there's other um, different uh, funds out there that you can utilize with other brokerages um, to buy, uh, to be a quote unquote investor in real estate. But that's, that's that's where we're at in a lot of instances. But anyways, let me finish this off. 34% of homes that went under contract had an accepted offer. Sorry, said that. Homes that sold on the market for a medium 17 days down from 18 days a year earlier and up slightly from the record lows 15 days set in May and early June. 55% of homes sold above list price up from 53% a year earlier on average 6.1% of homes the sale each week had a price drop uh, record high as far back as the data goes through the beginning of 2015. The average sale to list price ratio, which measures how close homes are selling to their asking prices, declined just slightly to 102.4%. In other words, the average home sold for 2.4% above its asking price. This was up from 102.1% a year earlier. So it's interesting times that we're living in. But um, I, I could my 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 personal opinion is stabilization in regards to housing prices may happen by the middle of 2023, but that's just a guess. You know, that's my that's my perspective, and that's just based on the, where the interest rates are at now. One, and then two, if there are you know if there's a growing pool of sellers who are like, look, I want to get rid of this house. I don't care about making a profit off of it. 
I want out, you know, that could increase. You know, it just depends on, because especially with the world opening up more so, you see with a lot of, um, you know, they're having airlines having to cancel flights, the airports are a madhouse, and they are. When I flew to Atlanta um, last month, it was, um, I'm, I'm just glad, I, if you have a flight, get to the airport three to four hours early if necessary. Earlier the better, because you never know what you're going to run into. It's a, It's been a madhouse since the world has opened back up. That's one thing I can say with sincerity. But with that being said, more people want to move to other states, other cities, and other countries. That's where we're at right now, especially to, to the growing, quote unquote, elderly retirement generation. A lot of them want to move to more rural, rural communities, cheaper states, and in certain instances, cheaper countries. So that's where we're at. So expect this, these things to increase and, and expect the, the mindset of sellers to be like, I don't care about money. I just don't want this house anymore. That's my prediction, but hey, I could be wrong. And if I'm wrong, then so be it. But as long as stabilization comes into play, that's all that matters in my personal opinion. All right. That's that's there's I don't think any reasonable person would want to argue with that. But you know, we are in the social media age where people want to argue over somebody wearing a hat. So it is what it is. So do the great three free things, like, share, and subscribe. Hopefully, you guys have a great day. If you're a stock market investor, crypto investor, individual time and account investor, or you want to invest in real estate through the stock market, utilize Weeble, utilize crypto.com, utilize um, Stash, Coinbase, um, Acorns, all that good stuff, and you'll be able to make some money when you sign up for those platforms, all in the links and all that great stuff. Thank you for the uh, cash apps and PayPals and Venmos. It's always greatly appreciated. And obviously, if you don't know, Patterson Hill Properties, we wholesale real estate via tax sales, tax liens, and we do the old school way of uh, wholesaling by sending out uh, mail and text messages and emails and things of that nature, right? So on that note, as always say, make money moves or you're going to live broke like a fool. Take care.